buddy Logan here. As if I can't see him. Here, Logan, look, who is it? Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Oh, he wants to show everybody he's helping Grandma make some root deers. Okay, are you ready? So tomorrow, as you know, we're opening our shop, the Blue Bonnet Nook. And one of the things we're going to be... Oh, you want to show him the juice? He calls my Diet Coke ornament juice. That's my boy. Okay. <coughs> oh, goodness. Oh, oh. Where's your juice? <laughs> okay, Logan, what is this? Is that a reindeer? Can you say deer? It's juice. This is what we're making right here. Little reindeer, IBC root beers, and they go with a little tag that we're going to be um, selling tomorrow that Leanna created. It says, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Root Deer. And that is what you, uh, it's going to be on tomorrow. But I wanted to show you how to make these cute little crafts. And I just put them in the root deer, back in the root deer container, or root beer container, sorry. And it has a little bell. <laughs> there we go. And then you'll have four little root beer reindeer. And then you can tie it with a cute little bow and put a message on the back to your neighbors. And that's one of our traditions that we do each year when we go caroling. We don't just bring cookies, we bring them root beer if we really like them. Okay, so Logan's gonna help me to wait for more people to come on. I don't know if anybody else will join, but they'll be able to watch it later. So the first things you're gonna need is some wiggly eyes, and it can be any size. You can have nearsighted root deers, <laughs> however you wanna put them on. I just do, the, um, I think these are, let me see, I've got the little thing here. These are the 12 millimeter size, and I get these at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or wherever I can find eyeballs. I think they even have them at, uh, hey, don't eat the bells. <laughs> you wanna show them the bells? Look at the bells. He was just putting his mouth up to it, but he's okay. Okay, so then I also use the bigger nose, the little red pom-poms that you can also get in the same aisle as the eyeballs. Um, in your craft store. Ooh, there it goes. And I just put everything together with hot glue. Bye -bye, bye -bye. Those are not ball balls. This is nose. Look at his nose. Oh. Where's his nose? Oh, there's your nose. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to attempt to not have Logan get burned. But these two, you just never know. So hopefully not. Okay, first we're going to just Find out where you want to put your cute little eyes first. Hey, Kendra. Okay, so we're gonna put, we're making root deers. I think Kendra, when she was little, she used to do this with me. Okay, let's put the eyeballs on. I'll put the eyeballs and you do the nose, okay? Uh-oh, because it's hot. Okay, you ready? So I'm just putting two eyes with hot glue onto the root beer. You ready to put the nose? Okay, and then I just put a little dab, dab will do ya. Here, put it right there. Put the nose, put the nose, right here. Can you put the nose? Oh, you want a different nose. Put, get the nose, no, here, put it on. Yay! Yay! And see how cute it is? Yay! Oh, look, it's Krista. I heard mom say dab will do ya. When I was younger, I literally thought dabble do ya was like what it was called to put something on with glue. And so in like school, I'd be like, I need a dabble do ya of glue. And my teacher was like, a what? And I'm like, a dabble do ya of glue. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was in like the fourth grade! Okay. That's not my fault. That's her fault. It's your fault. So not my fault. Here, Lolo. What happened? Did you hurt your finger? Say hi. Oh, let me kiss it. Okay. So 
next you're going to need um, these Chanel sticks in brown. Now, Chanel. they're little Chanel. Little pipe they're pipe cleaners, but they're made out of they're Chanel. Look, I'll show you. It says it right here. Chanel. Chanel pipe stems. Who thinks it's pipe cleaners? But they're pipe cleaners. And if you want to get super fancy, you can get glitter ones. Um, metallic ones, you, you know, whatever. You want little girl reindeers, you could do little pink ones, whatever. You can just make it to be your own cute reindeer. So what I do is you only need two for one root deer. So what you do is you go to from the front. I don't know if you can see. Let me move this hot glue down before I start getting. Let me see if I can. There we go. Say hi. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so what you do, we're making root deers. This is what we're making right here. And we give these as neighbor gifts. But why I'm doing this tonight is because tomorrow when the Blue Bonnet Nook opens, Leanna's created this cute printable um, for me, hand did it. And that's one of the things, items are gonna be in the shop. So you need to know how to make these so that you can tie this tag to your root deers to give away. So what you're gonna do, hopefully you can see this. I don't know. Okay, so just bend it in half so you know where the, the bottom is and go from the front and then what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you can see. I'm just twisting once and then kind of make it into a football goalie in the back. See that? <laughs> okay, halfway there, real easy, right? Okay. Then you're gonna fold this one in half. Uh-uh, don't put it in your mouth, Logan. He's a sneak, sneaky little guy. And then you're gonna have two to put onto the side. So you're gonna do the same thing. Just go wrap it around. Hey, don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> do you guys see his little stink face? Okay, it looks like pitchforks. To start but that's okay you do you make them however long you want and I just kind of shape them how I want them and then I've got my reindeer see I got my reindeer um, tops and then I like them a little shorter so I'm gonna cut you can cut them unevenly so they look more like real reindeer um, to look like tritons but hey or Leanna so here's one here's one that is a little shorter this is the main one what do you think guys thank you okay so now we're halfway there I've just glued on wiggly eyes and a big red nose for Rudolph and then I've used two pipe cleaners to twist the, the main long one around and then I've done the, the cut one in half and then use those the smaller size okay I'm gonna cut this you got grandma's juice? <laughs> Is that yummy? Okay, so anybody have any questions so far? Thanks for joining, by the way. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you can use any kind of ribbon that you've got, right? So what I've got is just this really cheap three, I use it for packages, so I just have all these different colors. So I used red on the first one, and I really kind of like this really thinner ribbon because then you use these bells, and they already have a, yeah, he's pretending to drink my, my juice. I don't know if they can see what he's doing. Logan, show him your juice. Logan, show him your juice. Logan, show right here. Look at the camera. Show him your juice. It's an ornament, guys. Yeah, he doesn't drink it. He wants it so bad. That's why he's thinking he's, uh-uh-uh. Don't rip Grandma's ornament. So that's Pop-Pop's ornament. Oh, you want to go give it to Pop-Pop? Okay, go down. Okay, sorry, guys. Let me turn this around. Okay, so. <laughs> Always fun to do crafts with kids, right? Okay, so now you want about, I don't know, the length of your arm. 
I don't, I don't measure. I don't believe in it. Okay, so then the, the, the actual um, little bell has a little loop on the end, and all you have to do is stick your um, ribbon through. Let's see. Okay, so now I, I just do it halfway. Got it? And then let me turn this around. And I just turn, I just do this. I just make it. Oh, I don't know if you can see. So I'm just like tying a shoe, right? I'm just making a knot. Because the first thing I do is make the knot. And I put it right around his neck. Can you see that? Okay. So all I'm going to do is, is tie a knot and then move the bell into the center. So then I'm going to slide bell to that little knot in the center so we've got his bell right so you can leave it like that or you can be cute and make and then just loop your bow not hard to do now I've made so many oh, I can't do it backwards sorry guys <laughs> struggling okay so I you don't have to do the bow some people and, and in a pinch I've done washi tape just kind of folded washi tape this direction into like a little scarf like this for a little boy reindeer. Um, and you can trim it or whatever, but this is what they look like. Aren't they so cute? These are our little reindeers, little root deers. I've seen people do this with actual beer, but I'm a good girl I am, so I don't drink beer. So. I make root beers. Plus, I'm usually giving these to families. I need to kind of like pan out. Here we go. So, okay. Okay, so, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just finish up these other two real quick. If you've got any questions, let me know. But I hope you guys will join us tomorrow when we open our shop. We're pretty excited about it. Um, let me go ahead and hot glue. And I just go really quick. When I get busy with it, I just go, mm -mm, I don't got time. Except now I don't remember her from the eyeballs. Okay, here's the eyeballs. I just put three dots, one where two eyes go and one on the nose in the middle. And the hot glue works best. I've used a lot of different things over the years and nothing works better than the hot glue. So you may want to do this when uh, with younger kids like have it already done and have them maybe just do the um, the pipe cleaner part. That might be easier. So I'm gonna go ahead, since I have this one done, now I'm gonna do the eyes and the nose for this last one. And what's sometimes fun in Texas, where I uh, basically raised my family and a house where I'm from, um, we would give root beer floats for Christmas. We would give it a, a a half a gallon of Blue Bell ice cream, and then a little four pack of these yummy root beers right here. Okay, so if you're just joining, I'm making um, root deers, and this is what they look like. It's so easy, so cute, so easy to give to neighbors and gifts and friends. Um, they're really fun to do um, because these little root beers go on sale at, where, where, where did we go and get these from? We got them yesterday, oh, it's Krista. We went to Smith's and they were two for $6. And so a $3 gift for somebody, it's really cute. And then I've kept, literally I've had these eyeballs for probably 10 years, because you get one pack and you don't use them all. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just, I just I, I glued, hot glued the two eyes and the nose. Then you just need two pipe cleaners and brown. I choose brown, but you, like I said, you can do the little Chanel's. These are Chanel pipe cleaners. That's what they're called. My kids don't believe me. They think they're just called pipe cleaners. <laughs> That's all you've ever done. So I'm just going like this around to the front and then I'm twisting right here and I twist them like that so that they stay together so just in case I start from the front and in the back I twist 
and then I shape them into a football ball. Just like that. And then you're going to use the other one, cut it in half, and then Logan's going to throw all his toys around because he wants attention. Okay. <laughs> And then you do the same thing. You just twist them around. I wonder if anybody's done this before. I've, uh, I feel like everybody has done this, but then I talk to people and they're like, you're making what? Just these fun little crafts with your kids and grandkids or even just yourself, like, come on. I'm, I'm an empty nester and I enjoy doing this. Okay, so now we just, I'm just cutting the tops off to where I want them. Oh, keep drinking that drink. Come here, Lo. Look how cute. And all we have to do now is add the ribbon. So let me finish this one. And the reason I'm doing these tonight is because um, I had Leanna, I had Leanna make me a, a tag to go with our root deers. Are you helping? Here. Oh, he's thirsty. Where's oh, my little guy? Okay. He's helping me with all the things. Oh, he's real thirsty. What's that? Is that juice? Oh, it's eggnog. Fingers. No wonder he's sucking it down like he's never had a drink in his life. Okay. I don't like eggnog. I'm not an eggnog fan. I'm not a big eggnog person. My husband loves eggnog. I can have them with things, but okay. Ooh, what you got? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now these are done. Except for the belt and the ribbon. So, and I just get this really, really thin ribbon. I make it as about as long as my, from my hand to my elbow. Just so you know. And then I get these little jingle bells and they have a little loop on the back you see that good and then I just thread the ribbon through that you can use any ribbon you want or or you can even just tie a big large ribbon around it and then glue your jingle bell the thing about the jingle bells that you have to know is that if you hot glue a jingle bell it won't jingle anymore so see, then I have these little loops, oops, loops, <laughs> loops, la, la, la. loop, yeah, okay, okay, so then I tie it around the neck, I leave the bell in the back, I just tie a knot to start, I've got a visitor at my door. Hello, thanks for joining. We're making root deers. So then now that I've got the knot in the front, you take that bell and go all the way to the front. Like this, all the dogs are going crazy. See the bell? And it jingles because it's not been hot glued. So then all you have to do is tie a little ribbon. Okay. And you can cut the ribbon however you want, but that's the, that's the gist of it. That's it. Makes it super, super easy. And then you can just stick them in your little root deer container. Look how cute. And this is a great neighbor gift. Okay, so I've got a green and a red, and I've got another green, so we're going to do red last. And these eyes are um, 12 millimeter. If you're wondering how big. You could do big eyes, you can do smaller eyes. I actually have, um, let me show you. I actually have smaller noses. How tiny. But I like the big noses. Look, you can see the difference. Just because he looks like, I don't know. Okay, so let's do the red, and I'm just going to 
get the red ribbon. And I just get this really thin ribbon and it's just festive. I use it for packages and whatever. Hey, Logan, where's the ball? Can you give me one? He calls the bells balls. Oh, he's giving me eyeballs. No, we don't want those. Where's the bells? What did you do? Okay, when you have a two-year-old, you get eyeballs mixed with the bells. <laughs> okay, so, yes, here's the bell. Can you hold it for mom, for grandma? Where's the bell? Where's the bell go? Okay, so all we're gonna do is string. They have a little loop on the back of the bell. Thank you. I can't really see from this far away. I had no warning, I know, but I wanted to do this really quick. So tomorrow uh, we're launching our new um, Etsy shop. We have an Instagram account called, oh, Lala's over here. He calls me Lala. Yaya, yeah, actually. And no, I'm not Greek, but it's so fine with me. Lala is my nickname, and so he's been hearing that, I guess, and he just started calling me Yaya. <laughs> hey, Leanna. <laughs> She's literally right up there. Huh? Oh, okay. So now I'm just tying it around. Oh, I didn't show you. I guess I did. Kind of, but look how cute that is. So fast, so easy. Really quick. And you've got your root deer. Okay, so then the reason I was telling you is because my daughter made me this cute little principle that we're going to sell tomorrow on our opening of our shop, one of the things we're doing. Um, and it says, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Root Deer. And what we do, um, and you could back this with some cute paper, make it into a card, whatever you want it to do. And I am just going to punch a little heart tag edge here and it just got over here somewhere well and then I'm going to use the ribbon actually I'd probably use cuter ribbon because this is the thinner but that's all right we're gonna do just do a little bit of all three of the colors I have so we'll have a gold a green and a red So then I'm just gonna loop it through. And normally we would just put a little cute uh, message on the back, love the Johnson family or whatever. Okay. Tie it up and then. Oops. That's cute. So show what you can do, Chris. So Krista's here, my daughter Krista's from here from Texas and she's actually Celebrating her 23rd birthday tomorrow. And so she's making sugar cookies. And she's going to deliver some tonight. And this is, these are gingerbread reindeers that she made. You can see how cute. Yeah, she's fancy. Okay, so I've got, I've got my tag on. You can see. And then I'm just sliding these root deers right there. And then so you've got your little package ready to go for your friends. And you can put it anywhere, wherever you want. I just tied it on the side. Isn't that super cute? It's really, really easy to do. And I just wanted to show you that's what the tag goes with. Um, and you can just give root deers. You can give vanilla ice cream in a little bucket with these root deers. Um, I have been doing these since... I got married so probably almost 30 years I've been making these and giving them away and when we lived in Texas we would give um, these with bluebell ice cream which is the only ice cream ever on the planet anybody should eat just saying unless it's homemade but you can do whatever you want with it it's just a really cute uh, quick craft that you can do with your family um, and so we wanted to just encourage you to <laughs> Oh, the dogs are going crazy. Come here, Logan. Can you come say bye? There's, if there's no other questions. Um, so I wanted to show you real quick. Oh, he's saying bye to Lala. I've been replaced. Okay, so tomorrow we're releasing our Save Your Tree ornaments and packages that we're doing with that. And these are the ornaments that are hand-drawn and watercolored. 
And um, this is a two and a half inch punch. And they punch right out the size of that. Exactly. And then we've got all the, if you've seen my other lives recently, you'll see that these are really, really cute to use for our Savior Tree. Um, that, that's our, really our first product that we're releasing tomorrow. But we're also doing a few little printables for you to use during the holidays. Um, and we'll have a lot, lot more in the works coming up. And these are the black and whites. So all you have to do to know to use the punch is you want to go upside down to use it. So once I've got this row done, I will cut it. And then you just, so you can see. Maybe I'll just show you. really close to the edge where I can see it. So this was like life-changing for me when I learned how to do punching. Do not punch this way where you cannot see anything and you're taking a guess. You go this direction. See? See how that is? So you just line it up. I'll do this where I can see it. And that's it. And look, it's a perfect circle. So you don't even have to cut if you get one of those. Okay, where did it go? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's gone. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that's just the plain one. Oh, I'm sorry. I just did the plain one. That was dumb. Okay, so. Let me do this one so you can see it better. Shh. I've got interrupters all over the place. Okay. So this is so much easier to punch out. There we go. And it's perfect. It's the perfect size. So two and a half inch punch. You can get these also at craft stores. If you go to Hobby Lobby, you can use your 40% off if it's not already on sale because they usually are because these are like old school. Like, I don't even know how many people use these anymore, but these are really awesome. So that's going to be released tomorrow. Our black and white and our color uh, simply design, simple, simple designs, which you'll get the package of 25 color and 25 black and white ornaments huh? oh yeah 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 either or whatever ones you want or you can purchase both or that's the simple version that will include the ornaments the scripture that goes with it and the topic of discussion um, or you can order the the full kit the D Lux, and I'm calling it the deluxe kit because that's how my mama describes everything that's big. Like, it's the best. She calls it deluxe. So we're calling it the deluxe kit, um, which is um, the black and white, the color, the, um, and then also all of the um, song, the script, there's going to be a song attached with it, a scripture, and then um, suggested activities that you can do um, with your families that we have done for so many years. And it's super exciting for us because now we know that you guys can have it in your home too. So that is it. Super easy. If you're just joining. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I don't, I think I have something in my hair. I don't know where it went. Punch. I'm a mess. I've been working all day and I came home and I wanted to show you how to make these root deers because they're so dang cute. And it'll get you in the mood for serving in your neighborhood. Cute, cute, cute. And you can rearrange these, um, what are these things called? Horns? No. On a real antlers. That's what I'm looking for. I, could, I kept saying horns. No, horns. These aren't horns. These little pipe cleaner Chanel. Um, pipe cleaner antlers. I can't even talk. But listen. Happy holidays. All right. We good. We good. Okay. So tomorrow we're probably going to do some sort of a live to show you um, 
the ornaments again and kind of remind you to start preparing for Christmas and get excited about the holidays and serve in your communities. Um, as our family is doing the Light the World campaign that's put out by our uh, religion, which is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you can go look at their um, wonderful program that they do each year called Light the World, which is all about service in your home and your family and your community and um, serving others and just getting out there and doing good. And that whole program is debuting December the 1st. And so we do that as a family. And this is one of the items that we like to do as a family together to sit down and craft and then take it out to our friends and neighbors. And you can also do that with the Savior Tree that we're uh, promoting uh, so that you can discuss the real reason for the season, our Savior Jesus Christ. So thanks for joining us. And if you have any questions, DM me or my daughter, Leanna. Um, Chadburn, you can find all of our names in, uh, I guess, I don't know. We just go to um, the Blue Bonnet Nook on Instagram and follow us there. Tag your friends and family. Tomorrow we will be having a giveaway, and that giveaway is going to include the deluxe package. So, And the ornaments already pre-made. And I don't have the ornament wood slices with me. Can you grab one of those real quick? They're on the tree. So that you can see. So it's like all of these ornaments, and then um, Leanna has created oh, these are the blank ones you can create your own. There's one of the ornaments. Here's the door, and they're on little wood, wood ornament slices. So they'll all be prepared. So you want to follow along, tag your friends tomorrow on the post that we post tomorrow about opening our shop, and. Um, once that closes, we're going to choose the winner of our giveaway, our first giveaway on the Blue Bonnet Nook. So thanks again for joining, and if you have any questions, let me know, or just comment, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, y'all have a great evening.